Hi, Steve Gamash here with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And this time we're looking at the uh, Shibata, uh, blacksmith's name is Takayuki Shibata, Kotetsu Gyuto, uh, 210 millimeter. And this particular knife, you can see from the shape, it's really uh, kind of a Kiritsuke style knife. And if you want to go to his website, it's shibataknives.com. And you've got more information on his philosophy on knives and why he puts the edge profile curved the way he does and so on, and the finishes. And a nice little website you can check out. Core steel on this line of knives is a uh, powdered metallurgy stainless steel known as R2. Uh, the heat treat rating on that is about 62 to 63 Rockwell. This uh, construction is a stainless, softer stainless cladding over the top of that R2 steel. And it's uh, there's a very faint line for the cladding versus the core. And it's really going to be hard to show on video with the finish he's got on this. But it is there, so it is a clad knife. Uh, weight, very light, 132 grams, 4.7 ounces. Blade length from tip up here to the end, about 205 millimeter, 8.1 inches. Overall length, about uh, 350 millimeter, a little under 14 inches. And this is a thin knife, so the spine thickness is about 2.1 here. Pretty much maintains that all the way, and then we'll get a close-up look, but it thins down at the grind towards this... Uh, uh, reverse sword type tip. The uh, blade height back at the heel is about 44 millimeters and the handle type is a nicely done octagonal uh, ambidextrous rosewood handle with a black packwood ferrule with nice fit and finish. Circumference on that handle is just under three inches uh, right here where I measure them and uh, let's take a close-up look. So here's the finish on the knife. The fit and finish on this blade is excellent. Uh, she bought this on smooths or polishes out his spine he says for more traction with the pinch grip and he does a slightly rougher finish uh, not a super polished finish on the sides for less uh, product sticking and you've got nice chiseled kanji on this knife as well uh, is that everything's polished smoothed out choil neck area uh, real nice job on that here is the thin tip on this knife it flows very well through soft product uh, this is a true laser style blade. Um, the uh, blade is thin, even back here by the handle, and the emoto or neck is rather narrow. Uh, to me, that lends, it really fits nice for a pinch, but it does lend maybe a little bit of delicate feel to the knife, being as this is so thin back here. Uh, the blade itself is not very flexible, but there's actually noticeable flex right here. So, um, you know, this is more of a precise. Um, delicate feel knife. It's not a big old heavy monster chopper, so uh, lightweight laser is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at the profile. The um, out of the box edge was very, very good on this, about a 6 out of 10. And let's just take a look at that edge profile before we put it on our cutting board. So this edge profile is very gentle on the curve. And I found it to work really, really well. Um, it's got just enough curve if you want to do some low rocking, but it's also flat enough that I didn't get any accordion cuts when I st stacked um, some scallions side by side, which is a lot of times not the case for me. That's kind of my nemesis. So this did really well in my uh, personal scallion test. No accordion cuts. Here's what it looks like on the board. It's got enough belly at the tip where you can raise it up, but it's a smooth flow all the way through. There's no super true flat spot, but it's a very, very gentle arc uh, through about the back two-thirds of the knife. So really nice chopping, push-pull cutting knife. Really good on the board. Very impressed with that. Balance point on this is about just about right on the money for a pinch grip. It's pretty damn close. And you know, this is just a just a light little nimble laser. So beautifully crafted knife. You've got a little bit of convexing. You can kind of see that on the sides here. Uh, just enough to help a little bit with product sticking. And uh, the finish helps as well. So good balance considering how thin the knife is. So there you have a, a really excellent option. Especially if you're looking for a Kiritsuke style knife. So this is the Takeyuki Shibata Kotetsu Gyoto uh, slash Kiritsuke. 210 millimeter knife.